Hi my loves, welcome to your Cosmic Weather Report for the week ahead. We've got a lot of big Venus energy this week. So a lot of living from your heart, coming back to your heart. So last week's Cancer New Moon really brought us home to ourselves, back to the truth of who we are, to kind of really realign with a very deep sense of self. And now this week is going to help us to begin to move into living from that sense of self, living from your heart, from your soul, from your kind of really deep truths. Now, Monday, we're going to have a really sweet day to start the week off. We've got Mercury sextile Jupiter, and then we've also got Venus sextile Uranus. So first of all, Mercury sextile in Jupiter. Now, sextiles are really beautiful aspects where the planets kind of blend together and work their energies together and weave together. So as we get Mercury sextile Jupiter, this is going to bring a wonderful opportunity to expand your mind. So to come out of any kind of limitations, any kind of doubts, any kind of fears. Again, that cancer moon took us out of our heads and into kind of the deep wisdom in our bodies. And now we're going to be able to really expand into that sense of soul self. So rather than thinking from our human mind, we're going to be able to expand into like the cosmic mind to really begin to visualize the future. There's going to be a real sense of being able to see the future and to really, um, with that Mercury meeting Jupiter, be able to find a, a balance between the bigger picture, but then also the details that are needed to get there. So rather than just having this big dream of them being like, but I don't know how I'd get there and I don't know how I'd make that work. And I just, oh, that feels too big and too far away. There's going to be a sense also of the details being there, the next steps being there, almost like the little breadcrumb trail being there of like, this is the bigger picture, but then here's a little map of how you're going to weave and create and get there. There's going to be a sense of ease and flow. And when you think of what you want, rather than it feeling difficult or big or too far out there, it's going to feel possible and almost easy and perhaps even exciting like there's something out there that you want but then there's also the knowing within of how it is that you're going to get it now venus sextile in uranus on this same day is going to bring a real desire for change so again rather than feeling afraid of what you might need to do to get to where you want to go and fearful of any changes that that may necessitate in your life there's going to be a desire for change an excitement for change a a need to want to begin to shake things up in your life a little bit you also might find new desires emerging so perhaps things that you hadn't allowed yourself to dare to dream of might start to just quietly make themselves known and come to the surface you might find things that you put on hold many many years ago for all kinds of different circumstances or reasons, again, starting to re-emerge and that little nudge of like, maybe you should pick this back up again, or maybe you should think about this again, or something, something coming through that you've maybe not thought about for a while. So just be mindful of anything, any desires that are beginning to emerge from somewhere deep within you, just feel almost like a soulful desire. This is also just a really beautiful day to say yes to the unexpected. So just to say yes, if unexpected things are coming in, if unexpected invites are coming, just say yes. Just, just a day, I want to give you that almost for the whole of next week, just say yes to anything, especially something unexpected. So rather than think about it and go, oh, but would I be able to manage it? And that means that I've got to rearrange this or I've got to redo that. And it might be difficult to do that along with that. Just say yes. Just be like, yes, yes, yes. To anything unexpected that wants to weave and make its way into your life. And this is also a really beautiful, well, day and week for your love life. So this Venus sextiling Uranus energy, and a bit later on in the week, we get Venus moving into Leo. It's all about taking a chance. Just take a chance on love. Just open your heart to love. If there's been someone you've been wanting to say something to for a while, say it to them. Let someone know how you feel ask someone on a date, drop into someone's DMs. Like just do, if, if there's anything that's been again stirring in there, take a chance, just take a chance on love. Whether you're in a relationship or not, there's gonna be a real um, 
just to real love energy coming. So if you're in a relationship, it's a beautiful time to reignite those desires, to remember why it is you're together, to bring some romance back into it. And if you're looking for love, this is a chance again to just say yes to the unexpected. If you get that invite, you just never know who may be there. So as a first point of call, just open your heart to love, to the chance of love. Thursday, then we get the Sun trying Saturn and we get Venus trying Neptune. So again, a trine. We've got really beautiful aspects this week of, of energy of planets really moving and weaving together. As we get the Sun trying Saturn, this is going to bring a, a steady progression to what you want. So remember at the start of the week, we started to visualize that bigger picture, the details came in. Saturn now brings the discipline to go after what we want. The anchoring into a sense of self, it's going to bring a real anchor into a sense of who you are. Again, taking what that Cancer New Moon brought through for us, there's going to be a sense of a deep anchoring into more of who you are, more of what you want, more of how you're here to shine, and more of a a belief in being able to get what you want. So that bigger picture you've dreamed of, there's going to be more of a belief in you that's like, yeah, I can do that. If that dream, if that desire is stirring within me, I know it's there because I can, I can do this. I can bring it to life. So there's going to be a sense of really anchoring in. There's also going to be a sense of where you've been off off the mark. So where you've been giving too much of yourself to things that don't make you shine, that don't allow you to be your full and best self, that do bring you down. There's going to be a real knowing of where you've been trying to fit your mold yourself into places that you're not meant to be. And then as Venus meets Neptune in this trine, and remember Neptune is in, in retrograde at the moment, this is going to be, it's going to bring romance and dreaminess and a real sense of very deep self-love. So a really deep sense of, as, as Saturn anchors us into the sun, who we're here to shine as, there's going to be just a, a, a real self-love, especially again following on from that Cancer New Moon, a sense of th this is who I am. This is what I've got to offer. And this is what I came here to do. This is who I came here to be. And I'm going to love me. And I'm going to anchor into more of me because as I anchor into more of me, more of me can begin to shine. So a real self-love. So this might be a, a time to look at where you are out of alignment in that and really bring yourself into a place of, of loving yourself. And with this, a sense of very deep compassion and forgiveness. So Venus training Neptune is going to bring through this energy of forgiveness, compassion, dreaminess, love, oneness. And so this might be a beautiful day if you've been holding on to things from the past to just forgive. And remember that forgiveness is always done for you. Forgiveness does not mean that you're saying what somebody did is right or okay. It just means saying, I'm not going to carry this around with me anymore. I don't want to keep carrying this heavy load around with me anymore. I don't want to allow this to keep affecting who I show up as. And so a day for forgiveness, just letting go of those things that have been keeping you stuck and down and bringing it back into a real place of self-love, of self-love. If I really loved myself right now, what would I do? That's a question I want you to keep in mind towards the end of the week. If I really loved myself right now, what would I do? Because then on Friday, oh, I'm sorry, on the same day, I'm sorry, we get Venus moving into Leo. We get Venus moving into Leo on this day as well. So again, we've got this big Venus energy. Venus moving into Leo is going to bring fun and fire fun and fire. Venus in Leo is about being playful, about being lighthearted, about living from the heart, about allowing all of you to begin to shine through, allowing yourself to take up some space, allowing yourself to be bold and brave and courageous and be who you came here to be. And again, a big love energy to take a chance on love, to take a chance on what you want, to take a chance on the life that you dreamed of, to take a chance on just being you, of just being like, hey, imagine if I just moved into the world today, it's all of me and didn't worry so much about what everybody else said. What would that feel like? What would I do differently if I wasn't constantly living under the weight of other people's opinions and expectations? And what might they think if I do that? Or how might they feel if I do that? 
Venus in Leo is like, let's just step out there into the world, take center stage, be all of me and be like, world, here I am. Here I am, world. So this is a time now to live from your heart, to be playful, to invite some fun back into your life, to really free yourself of those things that do hold you down and make life too serious and begin to just invite in some fun. I want to give you fun and fire on this day. So see life as fun. See life as more of a playground. See it all as a, a playground for your soul where you get to come here and live and just experience everything your soul wanted to experience and make it a little bit lighthearted. Friday then, Venus again, key play with this week. Venus opposes Pluto and we get the first quarter moon in Libra. Venus opposing Pluto is going to bring a really, really powerful, powerful energy of a death and rebirth. And what I mean by this is new versions of you beginning to emerge. So if over this week you've really expanded your mind, you've looked at what you wanted, you've really got honest about your desires, you started to say yes, you started to be brave and bold and perhaps take some risks and be playful and be lighthearted, a new version of you is going to start to emerge. And to do that, a version of you has to die away. So it may be that you allow the people pleaser in you to die away. It may be that you allow the part of you that cares too much about what other people think to die away. It may be that you allow the part of you that constantly worries and makes things too serious to die away. And out of that, allow a version of you to be reborn that is just fun and free and follows her desires and knows where she wants to go and sees life as this beautiful playground. And Venus opposite Pluto really helps us to come into a power. It helps you to take back your sense of power. So again, rather than giving your power away to anything outside of you and waiting for things to happen, it's a time of bringing your power back to you, empowering yourself to know who you are and what you want and how you're going to show up in the world. So notice around this day where you've been giving too much of your power away and begin to take it back. Because on this same day, we get the first quarter moon in Libra. So the first quarter moon is that part of the lunar cycle where we start to allow ourselves to be seen, shine, put ourselves out there again, take the risks, say yes, do all the things that we can do to bring our dreams to life. And with the moon being in Libra, this asks us where are we are out of balance. So where are we worrying too much about what could go wrong and not giving enough attention to what could go right? Where are we allowing, again, those opinions and expectations that weigh us down? Where are we giving too much of our energy to that and not enough of our energy to this empowered, fun, wild, free, playful version of ourselves that can go out there and get it? So where are you out of balance? Where are you giving too much of yourself away and not receiving enough back for you? So a real sense of where things are out of balance. And on this same day, just because Venus is opposing Pluto, there could be big changes in relationships. And what this might mean is that if you're in relationships that aren't working, that haven't been working, if you're having to mold and adapt and be someone that you're not in order to be in these relationships, whether that's romantic or friendships or whatever it may be, there's going to be this big ickiness around that, a sense of like, I can't keep on trying to pretend to be this person that I'm not. And so this could mean either just big conversations in relationships about what isn't working. It could mean certain relationships that aren't kind of destined for you and in your future start to fall away. But just know that that is to help create the space for something new to come in that's more in alignment with this new version of you that is emerging. Um, also, if you are single, this could be big um, if you've been taking brave, bold steps over the week and opening your heart to love. Again, this could mean like sudden relationship changes that bring something in as you've stepped into that, that fullness of you. It could be that opening your heart, doing the forgiveness, letting go of certain things just opens up that space for something new to come in. And again, this could be romantic. It could be like soulmate friendships where you're beginning to invite your tribe back into your life because you're like, this is who I am now and your tribe can then begin to find you to start to walk this path together. So a beautiful week for seeing the bigger picture, for living from your heart, for knowing who you are, for opening your heart to love and to expansion and to playfulness and freedom and life and all that it is that you want to bring in. Um, yeah, live from your heart this week and say yes. Say yes to the unexpected 
and keep asking yourself, if I loved myself, what would I do? I wish you a beautiful week from my heart to yours. I hope that it truly brings you all that you wish for. Send you so much love and I'll be back soon.